So here we're going to start the GIMP 2 tutorial. In this one, oh you'll have to excuse the birds in the background. Um, in this one slightly different, um, but the same principle. But I'll go through it all anyway. In this one you don't save at the end, uh, you're exporting it. Um, when you come to open it and you come to open the A or you're importing it as a different layer. So first off we'll get the beta. Excuse me, this one's got mip maps on, I'll just delete these. Sorry about this. Don't need them for now. And we'll just duplicate that one. I need one for diffuse again and one for dirt. On this you can actually type in here blue. If it makes it easier for you, and then red. Now I'm going to open as layer, and we're now looking for the A O. Oh, same again. Sorry. Very unprofessional. Should have deleted these off before. At least the birds are singing for you. Right, so now we've got um, the diffuse, which is the green. So, same, I'll change the colour of that, just so you know where they're up. Now we will have to add three other layers as well, exactly the same. Now if anybody can explain this, this box here does my head in. I'm working over here, but the box always appears over there, no matter how many times I drag it over here, it always goes over there. Foreground colour, add another one. Yeah. And add another one. So we've got our six layers. And now I need to move it in the right place. So move that one up. That one up. That one up. That one up. So they're now in the right, right place in the correct area. Take the eyes off so that we're only concentrating on one. We now need to change the colours on these. Go to the fill. Select the colour from this area here and I've got red. You can use the same numbers I've got to get the same colour if you wish. Um, or just pause it, copy the numbers, whichever you want to do. Click on there, red. Select the green layer. Make sure it's hide. Select green colour and paint. Select the blue. Select the eye. Select blue paint and paint it. So now we've got all the colours in. We now need to adjust the diffusers, the air hole and the dirt. Just like we did in paint on that. A little bit easier on this one actually. So put an eye on, same again. Instead of going, um, we, we need to go to colours this time. We're not going to uh, hue and saturation, we're going to desaturate. So you can try lightness, luminosity or average. There's not a great deal of difference between them. I usually just keep it on lightness. Same again, diffuse is all done. Same with this one. Desaturate, lightness and curves. Same again, what we did there. Uh, uh, the paint.net one is 130 by 255. Just keep it all the same and OK. That's M1 stone. So now select the car itself uh, for the dirt. And same colours, brightness and contrast. Get that right down and uh, fat sharp so that you can just barely see the model again. Makes it a lot easier. I will show you if you want what the difference is. Uh, but it literally puts a, a a very fine layer all over the car which looks like it's dusty um, but we're just concentrating on dirt here so paint make sure you change this over to white that's the size of your brush and this is the difference look at all these patterns you can even have a there's a pepper you can even have a pepper um, We'll go off this pattern first. See, 
actually, like I was saying before, it actually gives you the impression that it looks like dirt. Uh, increase that size a little bit. Look for a smaller one. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one neither, but you will see a, a big difference just on the way the mud. Well, you can see straight away. It just looks more natural the way they splashed out. The white obviously turns into the dirt. And we'll select this to paint that completely because that's all in arches. And just a little tinkle on the mirror. I think that will do. So same again, when that's done, select the blue layer. Difference with this one, you've got to select that. You can't double click on that. You've got to actually select the normal mode, the mode up the top, sorry. Uh, multiply, and then merge that down with pressing right click on the mouse, and go to merge down. Unselect that one, select the green layer and the EO. Same again. Go to the mode, go to multiply, click on that, right click, and then merge down. Unselect that, select them two, select the red layer, multiply, right click, merge down. Once all them's done, click the green and the red, click on mode, and then addition. It was additive on paint.net, but it's additional now. Merge down, right click, and select the blue, select the green, addition again, select the green, uh, right click, and then merge down. Go to File, Export as, DS, and Spectrum. Generate mint maps, OK, close that down, just our changes, and there's that map, and then we'll open that model again, same again, select a car, gone through all them, just put normal on, select the spec of that, And there you go. As you can see, the dirt, the dirt just gets put on much better. And you can play about with it even more just to get the look that you're after. But that just shows the two different types. Paint.net and GIMP2. Thanks for watching.